Hello, my name is Vannes, and I'm a software engineer in the factory historian team. Today, I will introduce you to the new functionalities added in our latest quarterly release, Factory Historian V702. The main focus of this release was improving the ease of configuration within our software and making scaling easier. For more info on this release, please head over to our website or visit our LinkedIn page. In this video, I'll explain prototypes. So what are prototypes? The prototype is a template you can configure within the historian. You can then apply this template to several different production lines at once, given they're similar enough. You can then also edit this template and synchronize the changes to all the production lines at once, instead of doing it one by one. So let's go to the historian and set up a prototype. For this example, we're in our Suda factory demo environment. I want to create a prototype for a pump. So we enter a name. You can also enter a description if you want. Then select a the default database. This is the time series database where all the measurements will come from for our properties. Uh, we're also going to add some metadata to this uh, a line and a pump ID. This metadata will later be used to reference measurements for our asset properties, prototypes. Now we're going to add a couple of these properties. So I want to add the flow rate of the pump. Uh, this property will reference an existing measurement. So we select type measurements and it's a number. And now you need to uh, make templates to link to the measurement name. Uh, so it will use the metadata on the, on the asset prototype. You can I do that like this? So I already have this pre-configured, so I'm going to enter this. That. So that's it for this assets. I'm going to create add another one for the energy usage of the pump. To ignore this typo, it's also a measurement, also a number, and again with linking the measurement names. Here I can't make a typo. Submit, and lastly we're going to also add the efficiency. This will be a calculation calculation using the energy usage and flow rate. So we select calculation. Result will be a number. Then we template the name for this calculation. So this does not reference an existing calculation. This will be the name of the calculation that will be created. And then we just configure the calculation as we already know. With the added benefit that we can reference the uh, configured asset property prototypes already here before they are even created. So the energy usage on the mean and then also the flow rates. And then we just uh, Need to create the script. So, well, just going to divide these values by each other. And that's it. So now we've switched to an environment with the entire production line prototyped already. As an example, we create an instance of the pump prototype that we created earlier. Go to the assets page, select this arrow, then create asset with prototype. Select the prototype you want to create an instance of. Next, enter the name of our pump, which will be pump zero. Select a parent for it. Then this pump is on line one, with the pump ID P0. Once we've entered this information, all the asset properties will be automatically linked to the existing measurements. We can press submit. Everything has been created. But as you can see, our previous typo has snuck in. Uh, we could just manually fix this, but imagine that you've created a lot of these pumps already. It would be a lot of work. So it's just easier to fix this in the prototype itself. Uh, like this. 
is a typo. And actually fix the typo. Save. Quickly reload. And now we can press this button to bulk update all the instanced objects. This will be only be the one pump we just created. Uh, don't need to do anything. Can this will this happens automatically? Just submit, and then the typo has been fixed. So that was a short introduction to prototypes. If you have any more questions or want to request a demo, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.